All right, so I cut up those green apples and we're gonna make some natural pectin. I put about two cups of water in there. We're gonna bring these to a bowl and we're gonna stir them constantly because you don't want them sticking to the bottom of the pan. And then we're gonna have to cook out all that moisture. And so once these turn to like a paste, then we'll thicken them up by reducing it, meaning that we're just cooking off all the water content. And once we get it cooked down to a nice syrupy paste, then we can can it and then we'll have enough pectin or natural liquid pectin to use if we're making jams, jellies, or preserves. And then I strained them into this bucket here. Let's see if I can lift that with that drop head back in there. Set that aside. So there's our pectin. I'm going to take that and I'm going to strain it through here. Let's see if I can do that with one hand. And then after I do this, oops, steaming up the lens, I'm going to take it and can it. Or you can freeze it. Either way, whatever is more convenient. If you're going to can, put them in the little four ounce jars and you can just use the whole jar to make, you know, four cups of jelly, whatever, whatever the recipe calls for. But if you're going to use pectin often, and you want to store large amounts at one time, maybe you don't have the little four ounce jars, it's best to freeze it like I've done. So what I'll do is just take it out, let it thaw a little bit, scoop what I need out, and then freeze it again. And that's a good way, and then you don't even have to can it in smaller jars. Because once you can it and you open it, then you can keep it in the refrigerator for about two weeks, but then it's gonna go bad. 